Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your virtual town hall meeting. We are in the middle of September. So if you're watching this, it is either Wednesday, September 15th, Thursday, September 16th, or Friday, September 17th. Crazy that we are already in the middle of September. Wow, we are just a week away from the beginning of fall. So I was gently reminded last week that I forgot to do the birthdays for September. So honestly, I can't remember if I did any of the birthdays in September yet. So we are going to do all of the birthdays for this week. Here we go. I'm sorry, for this whole month. So on the 1st of September was Violet Hearn's birthday. Happy birthday, Violet. On the 2nd of September, was Leonard and Leonard, I'm gonna mess up your last name, but it's Len M. So happy birthday to you, Len. On the 7th, we had Miss Judy French. On the 10th, we had Hope. Happy birthday, Hope. On the 13th of September, we had Jane Robbins. Happy birthday, Jane. On the 14th, we had a big one for Mr. Phil Kretschman. Phil is 96 years young. Happy birthday to you, Phil. On the 15th, which is Wednesday, we have Ina Hall Ferguson. Happy birthday, Ina. On the 16th, which is Thursday, we've got Sally Digney's birthday. On the 19th, we've got Lori Antonelli's birthday. And I think I'm gonna stop there because we'll get to the other birthdays next week. So happy birthday to everybody who was celebrating a birthday in the first half of September. I am so sorry that I missed you. So now let's get to the big news around town. So on Monday of this week, I believe it was Monday the 12th, um, we did get word that we had somebody in the culinary department test positive for COVID. So we took the precautions of shutting down the dining room and temporarily pausing activities. So where we are at now with that, on Tuesday the 13th, we were able to test 199 residents. So we got basically all of our residents who are in the building tested for COVID-19. Now, as of when I am filming this, which is being filmed on Wednesday the 15th, we do not have any results in. Also on Tuesday, we were able to test 26 of our, of our employees, which is about one third. All of the other employees will be tested um, <clears throat> throughout the week and we should get all those results in hopefully by the end of the week by Friday maybe Saturday at the latest so we don't really know what's gonna happen over these next couple days as we await the test results um, we're praying that everybody will come back negative and we will be able to resume dining next week however we don't have any more information right now on that um, in regards to activities, we are able to do some activities. However, we need to keep in mind social distancing of a full six feet and proper mask wearing, okay? So we've said this a hundred times, but the mask needs to be worn over your nose and under your chin. If it's down here, this doesn't count. If it's down here, this doesn't count even more. So you need to make sure that in all activities, you are wearing your mask the proper way, covering your nose and down underneath your chin. We're also gonna be more strictly enforcing the six foot rule. So as you know, when we are in some activities, we're really not six feet apart, we're more like three feet apart. So we're going to make sure um, that all of our activities are being more spread out. So you will notice that there are some things that we did have to suspend. Um, some of those are the card games like hand and foot, Mexican trained dominoes, pinochle. You can't really play cards with somebody six feet away. So we did temporarily suspend those activities. Um, we're also temporarily suspending choir, obviously with singing, that, that, that is a slight issue. Um, however, certain brain games like our brain teasers, majority rules, we are keeping that sort of stuff on the calendar. Um, so just be on the lookout on the day boards and on the TV, what you're watching this on, on channel 1979, that is the most up-to-date, accurate information. Now things can change very quickly, so we just ask for your patience as we are trying to adjust to all of these changes when it comes to the rooms and the activities and the amount of people. 
One thing that we are still allowed to do is go on trips. Now we've been a little lenient, not social distancing fully on the van. We can only get six residents on the van at one time, okay? So this means that the trip signups are gonna be a lot more limited. So what we're gonna have to start doing is fairly scheduling these trips out. So if, you've, if you signed up for a lunch this week, we're probably not gonna allow you to go on a lunch next week so we can make room for some of the other residents. Um, we wanna allow everybody to, to get a chance to go out if they want to, so we're gonna do our best to just fairly uh, map that out so everybody can get involved in a trip. Um, so trips we are still going on, the supermarket runs are still happening on Wednesday the 15th. Um, we're still going to the casino. There's another trip, bowling we're still going on. Um, but please be sure that when you're on the van, when you are on the van, your mask needs to be worn properly above your nose, underneath your chin. The van is considered public transportation. And so you do need to continue to wear your mask on there. So trips for right now, RES. At this point, when this is being filmed on Wednesday, we are going um, to Confessions this weekend and St. Maria Goretti, as well as a Lutheran church. So again, if you're going to church this week, we might not allow you to go in the next, the next time we go so we can make room for everybody. I, I think there's about 10 or 12 people that do go out to church. So if you drive, I would encourage you to follow behind the van, drive your own vehicle to allow some other people who do not have a car, who do not drive to go on these trips. So again, if you do drive, keep that in mind that there are some residents who do not drive. Um, and so we just wanna be as fair as possible. Uh, last thing I wanna mention, two other things actually going on this week. So with all of the craziness and kind of sadness that this news has brought us this week, we do have a couple good things coming up. So on Thursday, September 16th, we are going to be having the chat with the chef. That is gonna be at two o'clock and it's going to be in the dining room so we can socially distance. So you're not gonna be eating in the dining room on Thursday, but you can come down to the dining room and you'll get to meet the new uh, executive chef. His name is Neil. Him and Greg Meckel, who was our um, assistant culinary director, will be in there. So you come out, meet Neil, get together in the dining room for a little bit, and that will be a good time. Following that, immediately following that, at 3 p.m., we are going to hold bingo in the dining room, okay? This way we can space everybody out, everybody will be at their own table. So again, on Thursday the 16th, come down to the dining room, 2 p.m. for the chat with the chef, 3 p.m. for bingo. That will be on Thursday. On Friday the 17th, we are still going to be having our Elvis entertainer outside. So he's gonna be here at 2.30 on Friday, entertaining outside. Uh, we're hoping that the weather will hold up for us. I know it was saying some scattered thunderstorms. So say a little prayer that we get some beautiful weather on Friday, uh, nice and cool, some nice cool September weather. And you can be entertained by an Elvis impersonator. I was gonna say Elvis himself, but he is an impersonator. So, and we would encourage you to wear your mask out there. Um, what we've talked with the entertainer about is um, keeping a six foot distance. If he gets any closer, he will be required to wear his mask. So because he's gonna entertain outside, he can remove his mask. I would recommend you wear your masks out there. Um, yeah, so we do have some exciting things coming this week, even though uh, we did have to unfortunately shut the dining room down temporarily, just as a precaution. Um, and we are awaiting the test results. So Mimi will be letting everybody know. We will, once we get the results and once we get all those negatives, we'll let you know and then things can begin to reopen. So thank you everybody for your patience and understanding as we work through this difficult time. Um, yeah, we need to stick together as a community and find a way to get through this together while keeping each other safe, while being respectful, and just treating our, our fellow neighbors in a neighborly manner. So thank you again, everybody, for your patience. We love you. Thank you for choosing Arbor Square as your home, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.